Hello, hello. Hello, is this Lita? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm a few minutes late. I just came in the door. No, you're not. You're, you're perfectly right on time. All right. My name is Willie Tyler from My1059 in Billings, Montana. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. It's great to hear from you. Uh, I've been a fan for a very, very long time since uh, at least Kiss Me Deadly. Right on. I like that. It's great to hear that you're going to be uh, coming to town. I've actually missed you the few times when you were out with Def Leppard. I, I missed you by like a day and then a few other times. So this time I'm going to be there Friday, August 8th, rocking the rivers. We're looking forward to it. Oh, cool. Me too. I absolutely love Montana. It's one of my favorite places in the U.S. And you play here occasionally. I, I see I see your name on bills every once in a while around here. Yep. This time yep. playing the, the Rock and the Rivers Festival with uh, Winger, Queensryche, and Vixen that night. Have you? Uh, do you know the girls from Vixen pretty well? Uh, no, not really. Um, I know uh, Petrucci um, a, a little bit. But, okay. Uh, the rest of the girls, I'm a little bit familiar with, but we haven't actually hung out. You know what I mean? So, Cro- crossed paths a few years, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so it'll be fun. Uh, let's start out. Let's go way back to the Runaways, if you don't mind. I want to. I want to start there, and then we'll kind of work our way to today. Okay. Um, because I, I learned a lot watching the Runaways movie. I wasn't uh, really old enough to be around during during the, the heyday in the mid seventies. But uh, I, I want to know how <laughs> how accurate that movie actually was. Um, well, honestly, I haven't seen it. Ah, I was going to ask that too. I should ask that but first. I'm, I did hear that it was not really that accurate. Um, my part is very minimal. So, right, uh, right. I'm a little glad <laughs> for that because it's not you know, it's not that accurate. So I don't know. I mean, I think they left out a lot of stuff that they could have added. But um, I know Joan worked hard on it, and uh, but, but Sheree worked hard. And you didn't have it any is input? What it is. I love the cast. I think the cast is excellent that they did for that film with Christian Stewart and uh, Dakota Fanning. I think they're great. And you didn't have any input in the actual movie then? or I'm sorry? Did you have any input into the movie? No, not at all. Oh, no. okay. I actually asked them to take out a couple of scenes, and I actually asked them if they would not use me at all because... I didn't think it would be portrayed properly. Well, it would be tough to do a movie about the Runaways without Lita Ford. <laughs> <laughs> well, they pretty much did. Well, that yeah, you, there wasn't much. Uh, Scout Taylor Compton, I think, was her name that played you in that movie. Yeah. Um, everybody wants a movie about him. Who would you want to have? Who would you have picked if you could have could have picked who to play you? Do you have like a any oh, actress she in mind? Pretty rocking. Yeah, she did a great job. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I wouldn't go against that. That's, I think they did, like I said, a really great job in the casting. And uh, Scout's badass. Look, looking back at your life and career, you've really kind of, like, each decade's like a new chapter for you, right? Like, with the Runaways in the 70s, you went and did all the solo stuff in the 80s. Of course, that's what you're, you're probably most known for. Uh, and then into the 90s, you kind of uh, dropped off the, the map. Yeah, well, a lot of us did. You know, the grunge scene kicked in. Right, right. We kind of got the boot there uh, for a while. The 80s turned into a dirty word. (laughs) And uh, we got the boot, and we were shoved out of the scene, out of the picture. And uh, it just uh, kind of dumbfounded everybody, threw everybody for a loop. And... um, then the 80s went through, and, and now it seems like a lot of the 80s artists are, are wanting to come back. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a great show that night with uh, with Queensryche and Winger as well. Those guys put on just awesome shows, the both of them. Yeah, they're great talented, really talented guys, great talents. And the new uh, Lita Ford album, uh, fairly new, I guess it came out just a, f- a few months ago, The Bitch is Back, a live album. Yep, that's the newest one. And then we have Living Like a Runaway, which came out in 2012. I like the kind of uh, double double play on uh, the Elton John song. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And you cover you cover that Elton John song on, uh, on the album. Yes, we do. And uh, we'll probably end up using it um, as an intro song 
for the billing show. Um, it's just it's just such a perfect opening song, you know. Uh, we we do your wake up call off of the Stiletto album, right? And uh, go straight into the bitch's back. Has Elton John heard your rendition of of that song? Yes, he has. Him and his his uh, I believe it was his tour manager, production manager. They uh, got an email, and we sent them an MP3, and um, invited me to the show. They were in town, passing through, and after they'd heard the song, they invited me backstage and said, thank you for doing my song, and I said, thank you for allowing me to do your song. It's one rockin' version, they said. Oh, that's awesome. So I got Sir Elton John's Blessings. Cool enough to get to meet Elton John, but to, to play one of his songs and him actually give you the blessing, that's that's pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, I, I'm very happy with it. I heard, uh, it might be a rumor, it might just be a wild rock and roll story, but I heard at one time there was a possibility that you could have been Led Zeppelin's bass player. You know, if people laugh at me and I, because I'm a chick and I was young and whatever the rumor may be, but it's true. Um Robert Plant and Jimmy Page came to a runaway show on a night off, and uh, he took me aside and he asked me if I was interested in playing bass. And, you know, I, I took it as a joke. I thought, <laughs> really? you got to be kidding me. A teenage girl playing bass in Led Zeppelin. And this was at the beginning of their career. Sure. You know, they weren't... Uh, they were huge, of course, right off the top, but this was still at the beginning of their career, and this was in, in, in the mid-70s. So when, when I say this, you know, people are thinking about 2014. Now, this didn't happen yesterday. This happened in the middle of the 70s. So that's a wild but, story. I, I'd never known there was any animosity with John Paul Jones that, they, that there, was a, there was a question there. Didn't know either. I mean, he's <laughs> one of my favorite bass players, and on the planet period and uh i just was shocked i just kind of shrugged my shoulders and uh you know acted like a teenage girl and said yeah right and walked away oh. <laughs> <laughs> well lita we uh we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today and we are really looking forward to the big show rocking the rivers the bridge near three forks yeah i can't wait we're all excited all right lita thank you very much great to talk to you Nice to talk to you. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye.